Hello, lovely Palm Refiver Pills of Touch Bearers Academy. Good day. How are you all doing? Today, I'm very excited to take you on mathematics. And our first topic is indices. Indices. Now, indices is the plural form of what? Index. Index. Now, indices or index can also be called power or exponential. Now, the index is always written at the top right side of a number the top right side of a what a number now in this case the index of this number is what two the index of this number is two why the number itself is called the base okay the base now the index of this expression is what six why seven is the what the base is that clear beautiful now Questions questions can come in different form. But before we go further to questions, what is the index of a number? The index of a number says how many times we are to use that number in a multiplication. Now, for instance, this expression. This expression tells us that we should multiply it twice. That is, 8 times 8. Okay, now this expression tells us to multiply 7 6 times. 7 6 times. Are you following me? 7 6 what? Times. 6 times. Beautiful. Okay, now moving on to further examples. Like I said, equations can come in different words, in different forms. Okay, now a question can be in the index form and you'll be asked to solve it. For instance, solve the following 2 raised to the power 4. It's already in the index form. Okay, 2 here is the base, 4 is the word index. Now, what does this expression mean? Very simple. It means 2 times 2 times 2 times what? 2. Beautiful. Now, 2 times 2 will give us what? 4. 4 times 2 will give us what? 8. 8 times 2 will give us what? 16. Therefore, our answer is what? 16. Is that clear? Okay. Another expression can come like this. It means what? 5 times 5. Okay. So, and our answer there is what? 25. Beautiful. Now, another example is, you might be given a question and you'll be asked to express it in index form for instance what we have here okay three times three times three times three what do you do in this case simple pick a number to represent the others so pick a base number to represent the others which is what three because all the numbers are what three is that clear but how many times or three is appearing how many times? Four times. So our answer is three to the power of what? Four. Okay? Now, here's another expression. Two times two times two times five times five. It's very simple. Pick a base number or pick a number among these two to represent what? The base number. Okay? Or to represent the two. So we pick one. Then pick one from here too. We pick what? Five. Then put your multiplication sign in between. So here, how many times? Two is appearing how many times? Three what? Times. Five is appearing how many times? Two times. So this is your answer in index form. I'll write that again so that it will be very clear. We have three. There you go. Times five. And there you go. Is that clear? So these are what? Answer. Now, another form of question is, you might be given something like this, and you'll be asked to calculate it, find the value of this expression. It's very simple. Now, there are two ways to go about this. I'm going to go teach you the two ways. Then you pick whichever one. You are satisfied with okay both of them are simple either way so now we know the question the first step 
or the first method is to expand then divide so let's do that we expand we have two times two when i mean expand i mean to spread the numbers out is that clear we have two times two times remember three times three over what 18 so two can divide 18 right so two here two here we have one two into 18 we have what nine okay now two cannot divide nine without a remainder so we don't want remainders here so we try three three can go yes three can go so three here one three here three so three can divide this true yes three here one three here three sorry three here one sorry now what do we have left this is what we have left we have one times two times one times one over one so one times two times one times one will give us what two so we have two over one which is the same thing as what two so our answer is what two okay now another example or better still sorry the other method to solve this is multiplying multiplying all the numbers okay in the numerator we have two times two times three times three over 18 right this was the question isn't it good now two times two will give us what four okay three times three will give us what nine so we have four times nine over what 18 now four times nine will give us what 36 so we have 36 over what 18 now let's do a proper division so we have 18 so 2 can go yes because both are what even numbers so 2 into 3 we have 1 remainder 1 into 16 we have what 8 that gives us what 18 okay 18 over 2 here we have 9 over what 9 so we have 18 over 9 now what can go 3 2 can no longer go because definitely there will be a remainder okay so 3 here we give us 6 3 here we give us 3 so we have 6 over what 3 3 here we give us 1 3 here we give us what 2 so we have 2 over what 1 which is what 2 you see that using both method in using both method rather we arrived at the same answer so whichever method you use you are sure to arrive at the same answer okay now at this point we've come to the end of today's class i'd like to i'd like you to practice more examples in your textbook okay an assignment has been dropped for you in the PDF file. Please ensure you do the assignment and submit. By God's grace, when we meet in our next class, we'll be discussing another interesting topic. Okay? Thank you. Ensure you stay at home. Wash your hands regularly. And stay safe. Love you all.